What's up, my writers? It is testimony time. And before we get into today's testimony and scripture, I have a quick question. Have you ever pulled up to the window at the drive-thru to learn that the person in front of you paid for your whole meal? Me either. But I've heard it's been done before. 1 Corinthians verses 13 and 4. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. After doing this devotion and reflecting on this word, it made me think of a few things. On my self-care journey, I've really been focusing on healing and I realized how much love can really unlock trauma, pain, and free you. If you pulled up to the drive through and a cashier tells you that the person in front of you paid for your meal, are you going to say, oh, it's okay. You can just apply it to the person behind me's tab. Or are you going to receive it? For a season, I'm not going to lie, I did hit a roadblock. And it was because I could not forgive myself for tap dancing on a glass table, as PD would say. But once I realized that I was worthy of the love and grace and mercy that God had shown to me, it changed everything. In my experience, I've learned that being set free and healed through love comes in two parts. Praying to receive the love of God and accept it part one and part two passing it on like an act of kindness in a drive through line in my notes i wrote god bless the humble hearts that struggle to accept the fact that they are worthy of his grace and mercy simply because they are next through the love of god i was able to accept accountability for situations that i put myself in and forgive me for them then I was able to use that same love to pay it forward and forgive others, which was great until I realized I had a lot of trauma to heal from, from situations that I did not have any control over. However, I had the experience and the knowledge to do so. 